We approach every mission we launch with great care. Uh, this will be the, certainly the first payload in my career where the payload can, uh, can talk back. We're not used to having uh, payloads with heartbeats. Having to interact and talk with them is, is pretty exciting. It's human beings. I mean, how could you not be excited about human space flight? Looking forward to getting to that final countdown and uh, watching Starliner fly. I'm pretty excited to be putting Atlas back in the business of human spaceflight. We wouldn't be getting to that countdown if we weren't sure that everything was perfect and ready for launch. Your breath you know, gets short, your heart rate quickens, and you know, your pulse gets rapid. It's the excitement of the launch. The anticipation is almost too much to bear. We pay attention to detail, we take our time, um, because we basically want to send a, a great product out. But making sure we have that additional rigor in our analyses to protect human life is something that we went above and beyond for this mission. You know, we have to make sure that we do every little thing correctly here at United Launch Alliance, and that's what we specialize in. And the teammates that I have, I have my 100% best faith in them. Just to be able to meet the human being that's going to be on, on these flights is really a privilege. and. You want to ask all the questions that they want to ask themselves. We are going to use the same very vigorous processes to prepare and, and launch the rocket that we do for every payload, uh, understanding that, that this payload is the most precious thing that we will ever touch. Having the opportunity to interact with, with Sonny and Butch and, and all the astronauts here on a, on a regular basis, to, to know that I'm actually going to be Helping put them in space just really gets me excited. We are going to be launching humans into space. And since I was little, I have always loved to watch the astronauts. And I just really think this is great that we're actually going to be putting them up there. You're actually having a dialogue with the crew, giving the final commands, the readiness for launch. That's going to be a very unique moment, obviously putting the thoughts and uh, consideration into the flight crew and those folks and the mission they're getting ready to start. I've worked with my team very carefully to make sure that we've thought of everything that could possibly go wrong with that and, and accounted for it and making sure that the tower is correct and ready to support you know, the mission when it comes time to retract the arm for launch. We've done everything that we can. Many years ago, someone handed me the keys and said, here you drive. Those are the ones that put Glenn into space, and I'm looking forward to putting you know, Sonny and Butch into space and give them a good ride. During that time, a lot of passing of the torch happened, a lot of learning, such as what it means to be a certified responsible engineer, to own that hardware, to know everything about that hardware so that you can answer any question that may come up. As we are passing this torch forward, I want to teach them all the valuable things that I've witnessed. Because I've been involved in many aspects of the launch here at ULA. To think about the fact that all of these engineers that I work with are passing all of their knowledge on that I can one day launch astronauts to is really special. During my career, I've been lucky enough to have many colleagues and mentors. Many of the analyses that I worked on for this mission relied on their expertise and knowledge to help me guide me through the process and solve those most complex of problems for this mission. I consider myself the second generation Atlas uh, team member. Mostly what the first generation instilled in me was just that, that drive and desire for mission success. And nowadays I find myself in the position of passing that on to the third generation, if you will, of Atlas uh, launch engineers. ULA is one of those prime environments you know, where we stand on the back of our giants and our predecessors. So a chief engineer taught me many, many things along the way about thinking critically during times when you have issues and, and how to overcome those. And I've taken that knowledge and that training and that, that guidance from him, and I've passed it on to my own team. Human spaceflight requires passing on knowledge. Launch day is nearly here. I'm looking forward to starting this historic countdown. We put a lot of attention and detail and care in every part that we deliver. I can't wait to send the crew on their journey. It's exciting to pass the torch to the next generation. Pushing out boundaries will help us grow. Feeling up for mission success. I've been working on the Starliner missions ever since we were awarded the contracts. Astronauts' lives mean more than a deadline. 
I can't wait to launch my friends. For Human Launch, quality is everything. Ready to launch astronauts to space. It'll be a great day to see CFT launch. Go Atlas, go Centaur, go Starliner. <laughs>